Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for December 1st or Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. Uh, if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You'll get access to our full technical analysis, our live trades, and also our signal service. So the link is down below. So this was uh, actually a really, really, really interesting day, and actually a fantastic day to tr be trading Forex. So a lot happened today, um, and it mainly is contributed to that the uh, US dollar has started to uh, appreciate again. And that has had an enormous effect on many of these currency pairs. So most of my trades today were basically uh, in the foreign exchange market because this is where the, most of the action was uh, happening and is probably going to happen in the next few days. So uh, we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound, the US dollar. And as you can see, this was not one of the currency pairs that did a lot of uh, um, that a lot happen. We're up 0.12% at this point. Uh, we are most likely not going to touch this uh, these very highs at this stage. Uh, the reason why I say this is because we are overbought at this moment and these technical indicators are actually turning around. So we'll most likely see this currency pair um, break down. If we break the 20 expansion moving average, we go to the 40, and then the target is most likely the 50 and moving average at 13 or 1310. That is most likely where we'll end up, where we'll find um, buyers coming in and pushing this up to these uh, to these highs. So as I, as I said, we are or both at this moment. It is um, highly unlikely that we are going to see a retest of these highs as the US dollar is starting to appreciate again. That will have a negative effect on this currency pair. So let's start by looking at the US dollar yen. And as expected, we rallied quite significantly today. Uh, we were um, oversold. Technical indicators for this currency pair are all turning around. This It is expected for this currency pair to at least test the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we'll go to these very highs, and then we'll have another um, opportunity to basically sell this or short this uh, to these very lows. So at this moment, we are trading within a channel uh, that is downward sloping, um, and we have been doing that since all the way back in since um, March. And at this point, we are in the middle of this channel. There's no reason to enter this because we can pull back and it can be really choppy. So what you should do is basically wait until we get to the very top or wait until we get to the very bottom in order to enter um, enter this market. But it is looking encouraging to the upside because most of these technical indicators, they are basically pointing to higher, uh, higher levels. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. This is a market I did enter this today. Um, we can see that we had previous highs here of 1201. And what happened is that when we got close to this uh, level, it basically broke down significantly. We're still um, overbought. So that means that there's plenty of room to the downside. These technical indicators have just um, started to turn around. So we'll most likely go to the 20 exponential. So 1188, that is nearly a guarantee that will go there. If that breaks, then we are looking at the 50 around this area here, that is uh, 1181. And if that breaks, we'll go all the way down towards the 100, um, 150 uh, moving average, and that is roughly around 1167. So this is a trade that I do, uh, the currency pair that I do believe that is going to depreciate and is going to go lower. We are overbought at this point. All technical indicators are showing signs of turning around. They have not crossed their signal lines, for example, MACD or the stochastic. Uh, the, uh, the CCI is looking really bearish, and we're also, uh, we also pierced the top of the Bollinger Band. So at least we're going down towards 1187, and that is at the 20 uh, exponential moving average or 20 moving average. So that is highly expected that we're going there. So 
Other currency pair that I entered is the Aussie dollar and US dollar. And as you can see, we had the previous highs here. Um, we can get rid of that there. We had the previous highs here and it was not expected for this currency pair to break those previous highs. The reason for that is because we were significantly overbought and there was just not enough in momentum for this currency pair to break these uh, previous highs at this point. So what we're looking at is a breakdown at this point. Target is here, 0 0.73096. And that is that uh, 20 moving average. And that is basically the middle of the Bollinger Band here. So if that breaks, then we are going far lower. We'll go down here to 0 0.72, 70, 70, And that is just above the 50 moving average as well. So we have been trading within this range. Of these very highs and these very lows so we'll see how much the us dollar appreciates because that will also will have a negative effect on this currency pair but these technical indicators are a massive warning that if we cross them uh, uh, macd crosses here and the stochastic starts to fall then we are going to at least go towards the 20 exponential and then we are going towards the 50 and probably even further given next two or three weeks so so i have no interest in basically buying this at this current stage so us dollar cat we can also see that we have hit the previous lows here we had the lows here a rough uh, roughly one month ago this was basically in the beginning of 9th of november so yeah three weeks ago so we broke down to this level at 1.29 uh, 29 uh, 27 and we rallied from there so at this point, it is highly likely that we'll rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is at 1.30. Um, that is what we have done. It could also be that we rally all the way up towards the 40, which is uh, roughly here. And that is, a, that is a trade of roughly 1%. And uh, yes, that is highly likely. The reason why I say that is because we are oversold. And we're significantly oversold still, even though we have rallied, yeah, uh, rallied from the bottom. Um, we need uh, technical indicators to turn around at this point. So MACD, stochastic, uh, our CS, uh, CCI is basically flat at this point. But we are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band, bottom of basically testing this uh, bottom again. So it is really likely that we are going higher. We could go as far as the 100 moving average here. And that is a trade of roughly 1.5%. So a fairly uh, fairly good trade. And that's around 203 pips. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest video. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.